they call it meadows. Yes, yeah. uh, because the, the snow melts, you can clearly see it's a big meadow up there. Yeah, yeah it's a beautiful look. Uh, however, we are tracking some uh, moisture up there too. It is raining, a little colder now, back at 38 degrees. And we have had some glorious sunny starts up there, but that's not the case this morning. So it is a bit rainy up there as we set up our morning. Uh, now, if you are planning to go hiking this weekend, our forecast shapes up nicely in the gorge. We'll see temperatures in the 70s, a little warmer, uh, but Mount Hood back in the 60s. It should uh, remain fairly dry, potentially some Sunday showers, but uh, Friday, Saturday, great conditions for hiking out there. Be careful of bugs, bring the sunscreen and make sure you have plenty of water and a compass or know where you're going and stay safe out there. But some great conditions on the way this weekend. This is our morning right now. That's your live look outside from our uh, coin tower camera looking south. We have some very light showers scooting by. They're now building up on our weather camera lenses, so it looks extra sprinkly out there and pretty gray. So it's a gloomy start. We're back at 58 degrees right now. Winds are fairly light out of the southwest at about seven miles per hour right there. And uh, we are seeing these light sprinkles all around the Portland metro area. Otherwise, we are cloudy and back in the mid to upper 50s as we start and also looking at some showers out towards the coastline near the seaside Astoria area. So there's the wide picture of our satellite radar. We've got clouds all across western Oregon and these showers scooting through the area here, mainly up north out of western Washington. But we are getting clipped by some showers out across the coastline and again around the Portland metro area as well. These uh, showers again scooting right through uh, that I-205 corridor there now out near a Wilson, uh, Wilsonville and out towards the southeast on the I-205 junction and corridor there too. So rain showers out towards the southeast. There may be some damp neighborhoods out there. We're a little drier out towards the west, but again today through lunchtime, you might have that chance for a few sprinkles off and on as these showers work on through. Again, here's our model future Cassis model showing us the same picture here. These scattered showers uh, moving into uh, the valley here and throughout the Portland metro area. This won't be a widespread rain. It won't be a heavy rain either. Just these uh, light sprinkles that might be off and on throughout the early afternoon. We then dry out by tonight and heading into Friday. We are right back under uh, a nice pattern pattern here. More summary. We're going to warm up and dry out by Friday through the weekend. There's your look at our rain chances. Very low. We stay pretty dry. So uh, make those outdoor plans. This weekend looks fantastic to get outside. There's your peek out to seaside where we've also been tracking the light rain this morning. Your forecast out there this weekend. We should keep it dry Friday and Saturday. Low 60s, a higher UV index where the sunscreen, but Sunday might bring back a drizzle for the coast as well. So again, our weather shaping up nicely as we hit tomorrow and the weekend. Today will just be our cooler, damp day out there with uh, temperatures around 70 degrees. So uh, maybe grab that rain jacket. Again, the rain won't be too heavy, but you might see some damp moments out there. But a beautiful summery weekend back in Portland as we work our temperatures back into the lower 80s. Thanks so much, Kelly. Time is 6.45.